Welcome to day five of a seven day series on contentment. Find a comfortable position, thanking yourself for taking a break, for setting aside time to grow. for setting aside time to spend with God. Today, we either recognize the contentment in our lives and continue to thank God for it, or we ask him for help in finding that sense of contentment. With your eyes open and soft, take your first inhale and exhale of the practice and continue this natural rhythm of breathing, not changing anything. In your own time, simply close your eyes. Begin to focus on the movement that your breath creates in your body. The movement of your chest and stomach on each inhale and exhale. In this safe space where we slow down, focus on our breathing, and become aware of our body and feelings, we have the power and the ability to leave earthly comparisons behind. When we compare ourselves to others, we note what we think we are missing and what we desire. By relying on God, we can trust that he knows our needs and he knows the best ways to provide them. Pray to him, thanking him for providing your needs and asking him to help you stay satisfied in that. Or pray asking for help in identifying what your needs are. When you are ready, bring your focus back to your rhythm of breath. Begin to notice how your body feels today. Starting at the head and isolating each part, moving down until you have reached your feet. Not doing anything to change these noticings and yet finding a sense of contentment for where your body is at today.
as we look for wisdom and guidance in our practice today, we find Paul imprisoned and thanking the Philippians for their financial gift to him in Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 and 12. Continue to breathe, meditating on each word. Not that I was ever in need, for I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or empty, with plenty or little. Paul mentions all circumstances. There is contentment to be found no matter what our circumstances are. And that contentment can only be found by relying on Christ's power. In your own time, Begin to pray, asking God to help form your perspective. To help change your priorities. so that we can be content in the circumstances that he provides. Through this reliance on God, we can rejoice during the most trying circumstances of our lives. Return your focus back to your breathing one last time, allowing yourself to come back to this home base, a calming, gentle space. Become aware of how you feel after this practice. What emotions were brought up for you? If these emotions are emotions that lead to contentment, allow yourself to find a minute or a moment during the day to pause and let yourself breathe relying on God's power to find contentment no matter the circumstance. Begin to open your eyes, noticing the world around you, the colors, the shapes, the textures, the light or darkness. Begin to move your fingers and your toes letting your body know that this moment of stillness is coming to a close. And as you go throughout your day, 
Remember to inhale a reliance and trust that God knows your needs and the best way to provide for them. And exhale fear. I'm Kat, and thank you for joining me in this practice.